Hi, my name is Jim Page. I'm an English teacher at Sun Valley High School. I'm also the National Honor Society advisor here at the high school and I have been since 2009. My main role is to uh, discuss with the class officers roles that the National Honor Society can play in the community, things that we could do in the community. The National Honor Society has a rich history in education going back to the turn of the century. Uh, the first prerequisite for being a member is to have a high academic standing in the school and the community. And then also in terms of integrity, character, scholarship and community service, these are all important points that we also take into consideration uh, for membership. When I took over in 2009, the National Honor Society really performed two major functions within the school during the course of the year. The Volleyball Marathon, which was established in 1981, which is an integral part of our fundraising efforts. And we usually did a very, very nice food drive uh, locally uh, for the community. Since then, we've averaged 18 to 22 events over the course of the year. The NHS does so many events throughout the year, not only in our school, but also in the community. We volunteer for uh, the community days. Um, we're also involved with the elementary school students. I mean, everything we do is to benefit our immediate scholastic community and the community, the Aston Cave and Parkside community around us. To me, being in the Honor Society not only means that, you know, I've earned the right to be here, but it just means being a part of something bigger and just helping to make a difference in the school community, even if it's with little things like running a debate tournament or like hosting VBM and things like that. Like Honor Society does a lot of stuff to bring the community and the school together and I think that that's really amazing. From a, a school and principal perspective, the National Honor Society does so much to foster a positive climate throughout the school. It also fosters a climate of service to others. Uh, the students continually come to me wanting to do more and more projects every year to help others. It's seen in uh, their community service, in the volleyball marathon, in other activities that they do. National Honor Society students themselves come up with a lot of these different community service activities. And we also have contact with members of the community to touch base with me and ask for our assistance. For the NHS, we have four goals. Um, they're the four pillars. So we have leadership, service, scholarship, and a character and NHS definitely has a lot of character. We'll talk with each other and we'll come up with these ideas for events and they might seem crazy at first, but since we talk with each other so often and we have very nice meetings, we can come up with these ideas and Mr. Page is very supportive of everything that we do. The volleyball marathon really established in 1981 has been our most important and profitable fundraiser. Uh, when I took over the National Honor Society in 2009, there were 56 teams involved. One of the first things I did was met with the new members and asked them about how we can expand on that number. The class president at the time thought about it and came back to me and said, well, Mr. Page, Currently, right now, you're allowed to play on one team. Why don't we expand it so we can get more teams participating? And I thought that was a great idea. We did that in 2010, and then next year we had close to 100 teams. Last year, we had 232 teams, which was actually a record. We raised close to $12,500 last year in the fundraiser. This year, we had close to 200 teams. We raised over $11,000 in the fundraiser. The Honor Society and Volleyball Marathon really um, organizes pretty much the entire thing. The president and other officers get together and we make the brackets for the teams and we get everyone really excited for it. Everyone in the school signs up for different teams and the Honor Society comes here early and sets up. We sell food and snacks, we help sell t-shirts for it and we make our own t-shirts that everyone really likes. Sometimes we'll ref the games and um, we just make sure everyone has a good time and everyone's safe. As everyone gets all settled in, we make a big speech about like playing well and playing together and having fun. And the most important thing is the cause, so it's not really about winning. It's more about playing together for a great cause. And it's one of the best nights of your Sun Valley life, and it's just an amazing experience. It's just something that everyone at Sun Valley really loves, and the, the Honor Society has also moved it down to Northley Middle School. So now we're getting a lot more of the school district involved and getting the middle schoolers really excited for when they come up to Sun Valley to do our volleyball marathon. And I think it shows how much the Honor Society can impact 
our school and the community. Honor Society was a great way to not only recognize um, a select few students for their accomplishments, but also to show them the importance of giving back. So when I reflect back on the Honor Society, I don't think so much of it being something that was a reward as more of a learning experience for me about the importance of giving back to the community. It's actually changed quite a bit since I've been here. When I was here as a student, it was primarily academically driven and now there's a lot more community service opportunities offered, which I think is great for the students to get involved more. And so I'm pretty proud of the way it's changed because they have a very positive effect on the community, not only in the building, but outside of the building as well with all that they've been doing. And they've kind of built a, new, a name for themselves. So it's, uh, it's not just a club that you put on your resume anymore. It's something you can really be proud of. Uh, reflecting back on the Honor Society from then to now, I would say it's definitely expanded, and I think I admire a lot more how it's built. When I was here at Summit Valley High School many, many years ago, um, the volleyball marathon was just starting out, and now this is it's just an extravagant event where they can donate thousands upon thousands of dollars to an amazing cause. And that's just one example. I think one great thing they're also doing is they're really kind of expanding Honor Society to different um, people with ability and disability, which you know, as a special ed teacher means means a lot to me. So I think as far as expanding, it's done a fabulous job. And I think they're only taking more and more steps to reach out in the community and make a difference in this world. Um, I have family that lives around here and they attend the community day parades and other things and they see the kids walking around in their, their polos and their fleece their fleece vests and they know that these kids are from Sun Valley and what they're doing and how they're contributing to the community and I think they appreciate that. Um, so it's kind of put a little spin and it keeps the positive reputation of Sun Valley but I think it's also bolstered it and made it even stronger than it was. Oftentimes students will ask me about some of the criteria and some of the skills that they're going to need when they move on into college and we talk about this a great deal not only in the classroom but also talk about it when we have our meetings. So for example, students are going into a college and we talk about the fact that the number one prerequisite is for them to have good grades. But I make it crystal clear to students that going into college, their colleges know that they have strong academics when they come in, but they want more. And I think that's what the National Honor Society provides to these students, it gives them a base. They want students that are going to come as a freshman into their college and get involved in clubs, in intramural sports, in athletics in any type of endeavor that is going to make them a part of that college community. It's very easy to have a student come into their college and sit and do very, very well academically, but they're also looking for that student to come into their college that's going to make their college a much more enjoyable place in terms of activities, community service endeavors. Sun Valley, the, the pride we have for the National Honor Society is, is tremendous. It's a talking point that we use and we, we show to uh, organizations that are trying to get started here, uh, booster clubs and uh, trying to figure out how to enhance their club or activity or sport. We always use the Honor Society as a guide and we also use them, their manpower and their intellect too on how to get things off the ground and how to get them to be done in a, in a manner which is exemplar for others. It's a very humbling thing because we're just a bunch of people who really want to make our community a better place and make Sun Valley a better place and it's very different than any other organization that we have here at Sun Valley. Being in the National Honor Society was such a great thing and I was so happy when I became a part of this organization. It's so nice to work with other people who really care about our Scholastic community and our community of Aston, Brookhaven and Parkside. I, I can't tell you what a great joy it has been for me to be the advisor to such a great group of young men and women here at Sun Valley High School and really in many ways it's testament to the people and the families in Pendelco community. Going from two events in 2009 to about 22 events in 2016, I think in so many ways we've been able to change the culture of the school and also the community as well too. To look at these students as juniors and seniors and really build on their social skills and seeing how much they have given back to the community has been really one of the great joys of my profession and my experiences in education. It has been my distinct honor to be Sun Valley High School National Honor Society Advisor since 2009 
and I look forward to many more years here at the high school and also being involved with a number of students, new students coming into the National Honor Society with new ideas, new ambitions, and new ways we could change the culture of the school for the better. It's really rewarding to know that you've made a difference in your community or just made someone's day a little bit better because that's what National Honor Society is all about.